Hello everyone, this is Prashant Chaudhary. I welcome you all to my channel Classic Power. In this video, we'll be discussing about the language translation in model driven. In model driven, we need to first enable the language and later we need to design our application in such a way so that it will accept the language translation features. In order to make our application our model driven application to support this mul multiple level language we need to first enable the language for our environment in order to complete that requirement you should have the admin privilege for this thing if you have the admin privilege now it's the time to just see how we can actually enable the language for our environment so i'm just navigating to my screen so here you need to just open your environment where you would like to add the language come to the admin settings i will open the admin settings select the environment and in the environment search for the settings and now we have the languages okay once you click on the language you will get the all the language that you can actually use in your environment so select the particular language and enable this so i have already enabled the hindi language because it will take a little time to just reflect so that's why i have already enabled the particular language hindi okay so now my language has enabled okay so now it's the time to create my application in such a way so that it will accept the language translations okay so now i have already created one application in one model driven application okay so here you can see this is my model driven application and this is the norm canvas page that i have added so this feature is actually mean to be made for this thing only for the page itself that you have added in the model driven okay so in order to change the language of all the text that are present in the page you need to add the resource file in your solution that you can uh, say in different term is adding the localized content in your solution and create your page accordingly okay so in order to create the localized content as a resource file, you need to first create the resource file. Okay. Then our production is how we can actually create the resource file. So prior to that, I just need to just show you, see, I have here one label, all items, and there's a text input and there is a button. So I've already created one uh, Excel sheet. This is my control name, control property that I'm referencing. It's Hindi translation. What? The Hindi translation should actually look and what would be the English translation that actually should be there. Okay. So now our time is to just create the resource file. So in order to create the resource file, you need to just open any project of your .NET framework. Okay. So I have already opened one project. I created actually the new project. There is nothing in that project. So now just come to here in the, in the side panel, the solution explorer and create one folder like uh, you can create the folder from that like there is a add new and there's a folder okay once you create the folder inside that folder i'm just creating the resource files okay so i'll simply go with the add items what type of file i would like to create the resource file you can just write the resource here as well it is a resource file okay yeah and here you need to just pass the name of your resource file so in order to make that resource file work in your environment you need to follow some naming convention and the naming convention should be the file name let's say the file name is my ui test and dot the language that you would like to link particular file okay the language code so uh, i'm just creating this file for my hindi translation so the language code for the hindi translation is one zero it one okay i'll just add that link of the language translation that you can use okay in the description of this video so i make the ui test dot language translation and dot res file okay i'll simply click on add now we have the name we have the value and the comment so i'll simply pass the values from my excel sheet okay so i'll simply copy this pass it here next copy it pass it here next copy pass it here and one more control c control v 
okay now i need the the value where you would like the content that it would be visible okay so i can i copy all if it can work let's see control c no it won't work like that i need to just copy it one by one okay more i'm just ignoring the description for now because we are interested in only these four things okay so let's just let's just save it control s okay now we have created the resource file for the hindi translation now it's the time to create the resource file for the english translation because in the application you need to add the resource file that is linked to the default language of the, your system okay so we'll need to create one more resource file we can the resource folder and we can create add new again the name would be same but the naming convention so my name was ui test dot the the name should be same remember guys the name should be same on the language code would be different so this is for the english so 1033 is the english code add and now i'll simply 10 Three, three. Okay, okay. I simply copy the whole stuffs. We'll see. And now come to control. This is the front control V. Okay, I don't need this one. Over here and see. Now to pass the. Okay. How to work? Actually, work. I'm not sure. Button is pressed. Okay, that that should not be there. Okay, so we'll pass one by one. This one. Control C. Control A. Control C. All items is for the second one. You can write it here. All items. Third one is notify. Fourth one is press pressed. So we have created the resource file. Now control save it. We are not adding any comment. Okay, I'm not actually adding any comment for now. So now. I just need to see where are these files stored. So I'll simply come to this, open in the file explorer, and I can see it would be in the source files. I can see these two are the files that I'm looking for. So I simply copy it, Control X, and I'll simply come to my desktop, and I simply paste it here. Okay. So U at S U at S is the name. Now I need to design my application. Is now the designing work actually comes. So in order to design my work, which I have already opened this page in the edit mode. Okay, so this page in the edit mode. Here, there is a section from where we can add the resource. Okay, so first thing is to add the particular resource file in our solution. So I'm just adding that in from here, uh, from the solution. Yeah, this is my solution. I'll simply add the resource file. That resource file would be web resource. Okay. And upload. First, add this one. UI test one zero three three. I pass the same name. UI test. And the schema name should be different. Okay, not should be different. The same that includes the language code as well okay so ui test dot 1033 dot r e s x ui test okay nice so it is i've take already taken the ui x now I'll simply go to the language change the language to english ui test ui test okay now we simply save this So it has already uploaded. Now is the time to just 
upload the second one to web resource upload the second we have already up uploaded the first one 1033 now for the 1081 again the name should be same ui test only and here in the schema we will pass the code ui test dot 1081 dot sx resx not that x okay and here it has already taken the type as resource okay so we'll change the language to english only and save it so our both two has uploaded now 1081 and now we come to the application and we'll add the resource here add the resource and we'll simply search our resource ui test simply search on that in the application you need to add the particular resource that whose language is actually the language of your environment okay so the default language is english environment so i'll simply add that english one 1081 remember these names are same only the language code are different okay so we'll add the that one and add this now the ui test is added in my resources of this page now i just need to change the labels how in the test they are static values now i need to just pass the dynamic values how ui test dot this is the header page header okay all items again uh, I'll write in the hint values mm -hmm. placeholder. Okay. So UI test dot text input text inputs dot that one. Okay. And here I'll pass the third one, the tooltip. Let's pass UI test. and told to be screen button okay. now we'll simply see in the preview whether all our things are good or not so all items and to search and click to notify okay nice 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 that is we have all added only three things now okay so now it's the time to just save your application we will simply save this and publish the, the latest version of this once you publish that it might take little time to get reflect your changes in your page okay so don't get hesitated for, for this thing let's wait for some time okay so let's it has refreshed now we'll come to the solution and we click on publish all customizations okay so guys actually i'm just running out of time so in that time i'll just try to make it a little fast for the publishing i'm just pausing this video so guys my system has uh, published all the customization so now it's the time to just play my application so i'll just simply play this and once i play this i can see the things has changed the all items enter to search as per my excel sheet okay all items enter to search one thing how you can actually change this personalized settings once you go in the personalized settings actually i'm just running off time just like making a little fast so here's the language section the user interface enable the hindi the language that you have enabled when you enable the hindi now simply refresh this and simply show the hindi translations it hasn't changed yeah so it has changed so you see so now it's the time for showing the hindi things that we have added okay tooltip as well so you technically click kare. okay so guys that is all how we can actually use the language translation model driven application especially in the canvas